क्वेश्चन इज द नंबर ऑफ इंटीग्रल पॉइंट इंटीग्रल पॉइंट इट मीन्स द पॉइंट हुज कॉर्डिनेट शुड बी एन इंटीजर बोथ एक्स एंड वाई कॉर्डिनेट बोथ सो द नंबर ऑफ इंटीग्रल पॉइंट एग्जैक्टली इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल विद वर्डिस जीरो ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो इज एंड योर ऑप्शन आर द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वन थर्टी थ्री सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज वन नाइन्टी थर्ड ऑप्शन इज टू थर्टी थ्री एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज वन जीरो फाइव दिस क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आई आई टी टू थाउजेंड थ्री एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन हियर देर आर थ्री वर्डिस ऑफ द ट्राइंगल जीरो ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ड्रॉ द फिगर दिस इज एक्स एक्सेस दिस इज वाई एक्सेस ना वी विल ड्रॉ द ट्राइंगल बिकॉज वन ऑफ द वर्ड एक्स इज ऑरिजिन सो दिस ऑरिजिन इज फिक्स द सेकेंड कॉर्डिनेट इज ट्वेंटी वन कॉमा जीरो सो इट विल लाई ऑन द एक्स एक्सेस एंड द थर्ड कॉर्डिनेट इज जीरो कॉमा ट्वेंटी वन सो इट विल लाई ऑन द वाई एक्सेस एंड टू ड्रॉ द ट्राइंगल नाउ आई एम ड्रॉइंग द लाइन विच विल पास थ्रू द पॉइंट ट्वेंटी वन कॉमा जीरो एंड जीरो कॉमा ट्वेंटी वन वी विल राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन दैट what will be the equation of the straight line ab suppose this is a this is b so now we will write equation of ab so equation of ab is because here the x intercept is 21 and the y intercept is also 21 so using the intercepts form you can write x upon 21 Plus y upon twenty one is equal to one, and hence you will get here x plus y is equal to twenty one. This is the equation. Now, with the help of this equation and this figure, now we will plot the points which satisfy this given equation. It means which lie on this straight line, and these points are c. One is one. Twenty comma one, one is nineteen comma two, eighteen comma three, and so on. It will be in this side. It will be one comma twenty, two comma nineteen, and so on. In this way, it will be. What we'll do? So just we will draw the line parallel to the y-axis. We will draw another parallel line from. Two comma nineteen. Same way we will draw from three comma eighteen and so on. So we can draw here also this. You can see here this parallel line parallel to the y-axis intersect the x-axis at the coordinate one comma zero, two comma zero, three comma zero, and so on. Nineteen comma zero, twenty comma zero. Now we will see. From one zero to one twenty, how many points will lie whose coordinates is an integer? So you can see one of the point is one comma one, one of the point is one comma two, one comma three, and so on. You can move here till one comma nineteen. That means on this straight line there are nineteen points. whose coordinates are an integer and those points will lie inside this triangle aob same way you can move here the first point is 2 comma 1 next is 2 comma 2 and finally the last one is 2 comma 18 so here there are 18 points on the second on the third it will be 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 and the last is 3 comma 17 so there are 17 points and similarly when we move here only one point 19 comma 1 and here there is no point at all so total number of integral points lies 
exactly inside a triangle AOB is from the first line you will get 19 points from the second line you will get 18 points from the third you will get 17 points so it will be 19 plus 18 plus 17 till it will be 3 plus 2 plus 1 you can write it 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 19 so using sum of first n natural numbers is 19 into 20 upon 2 which is equal to 190 so according to the option your option number 2 is the correct option now I am taking one more example one more questions already asked in IIT exam the question is determine all values of alpha for which the point alpha comma alpha square lies inside the triangle formed by three lines 2x plus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 x plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 and 5x minus 6y minus 1 equal to 0 and your options are first option is alpha belongs to minus 3 by 2 comma minus 1 open interval for both union open interval half to open interval 1 the second option is alpha belongs to minus 3 by 2 open interval to minus 1 close interval union half to 1 open interval third option is alpha belongs to minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 close interval and open interval union half close to 1 open and the fourth option is alpha belongs to open interval minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 open interval union open interval half and the fourth option is alpha belongs to open interval minus 3 by 2 to open interval minus 1 union close interval half to open interval 1 this question asked in IIT in year 1992 so what we'll do here first that first of all draw the figure the figure is there are three straight line which so these are three straight lines suppose this is one this is two and this is three this is point a this is point b and this is point c now according to the question the point alpha comma alpha square should lie inside this triangle that is anywhere it will be suppose i am taking here the coordinate of this point is alpha comma alpha square and this point i am taking as p so this p alpha comma alpha square will lie inside this triangle now what will be the value of alpha what will be the conditions on alpha that you have to find out first of all what we'll do that will find these three vertices once you get these three vertices then we will use and the condition is two points will lie on the same side of the straight line or different side of the straight line so I'm writing here since given lines are 2x plus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 5x minus 6y minus 1 is equal to 0 these are three straight lines suppose line 1 line 2 and line 3 now we will find the point of intersection of these three taken two at a time so i'm solving here solving one and two what do you get the value of x and the value of y we get x is equal to minus seven and y is equal to five so from the figure you can see the point of intersection of line one and line two is minus seven comma five now we will solve the second and third now solving the equation number two and equation number three x is equal to five by four 
and y is equal to 7 by 8. Now we will solve the equation number 1 and 3. From the figure, this is the coordinate of c 5 by 4 comma 7 by 8. Now solving 1 and 3, we get here the value of x as x is equal to 1 by 3 and y is equal to 1 upon 9. So from the figure, the coordinate of a is 1 upon 3 comma 1 upon 9. Now we will see. In this figure, if we select the line 1, that is the line AB, the point P and the point C both lie on the same side of the straight line. On the same side of the straight line, so we will use the condition. Now, for straight line 1, the point P alpha comma alpha square and the point C 5 by 4 comma 7 by 8 both the points will lie on the same side of the straight line so using the rule if you substitute P in the straight line 1 and if you substitute C in the straight line 1 both will give the same sign it means it will be 2 alpha plus 3 alpha square minus 1 and 2 5 by 4 plus 3 7 by 8 minus 1 will give the same sign. It means the product of these two should be greater than 0. Now we will simplify. 3 alpha square plus 2 alpha minus 1 into in this case it will be 33 by 8 is greater than 0 hence you will get here 3 alpha square plus 2 alpha minus 1 is greater than 0 now we can factorize it so it will be 3 alpha minus 1 into alpha plus 1 after factorization by splitting the middle term so from here you can say alpha will belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 by 3 to infinity. This you will get suppose equation number fourth. This is using the one of the condition that the point P and C will lie on the same side of the line 1. Now we will consider the point P and the point A will lie on the same side of the line 2. So now since point P alpha alpha square and the point A which is 1 by 3 1 by 9 will lie on the same side of line 2. So again using the same condition that when you substitute P and A in line 2 then it will give the same sign. Hence we get alpha plus 2 alpha square minus 3 into 1 upon 3 plus 2 into 1 upon 9 minus 3 is greater than 0. Hence we get here 2 alpha square plus alpha minus 3 into after simplification you will get here minus 22 upon 9 is greater than 0. Hence, 2 alpha square plus alpha minus 3 will be less than 0. Now, we will factorize this one. So, we will get 2 alpha plus 3 into alpha minus 1 is less than 0. From here, you will get alpha belongs to open interval minus 3 by 2 to 1 open interval. This we will suppose as fifth equation. Now we will consider the last third line. For the third line, the point P and the point B will lie on the same side. Now point P alpha alpha square and B minus 7 comma 5 both will lie on the same side 
of line 3. So here also, when you substitute P and B in the straight line 3, both gives the same sign. So here we get 5 alpha plus 5 alpha minus 6 alpha square minus 1 into 5 into minus 7 minus 6 into 5 minus 1 is greater than 0. So from here minus 6 alpha square plus 5 alpha minus 1 into minus 66 is greater than 0. Hence 6 alpha square minus 5 alpha plus 1 is also greater than 0 and now we will factorize. So from here you will get 3 alpha minus 1 into 2 alpha minus 1 is greater than 0. Alpha belongs to minus infinity to 1 by 3 union 1 by 2 to infinity. Now we will consider this as equation number 6. Now because in all of these three cases the alpha should satisfy it means we will find out the intersection the common value for alpha from the equation number 4 5 and 6. So therefore we can write here from 4 5 and 6 what will be the common reason. So for this purpose I am just drawing the number line. This is the number line minus infinity to plus infinity. Here we have numbers 1 by 3, 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, 1 and in fourth it is minus 1 and 1 by 3. So here we will write one line the one point is minus 3 by 2, the one point is minus 1, the one is 1 by 3, 1 is 1 by 2 and 1 is 1. Now from the reason number 6 it will be from half to infinity and from this side minus infinity to 1 by 3. I am writing here this is 6. Now the fifth one is minus 3 by 2 to 1. So minus 3 by 2 to 1 this one is the fifth and now I am writing the fourth one. Fourth one is minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 upon 3 to infinity. So minus infinity to minus 1 so and 1 by 3 to infinity. This is your the fourth one. Now in all of these fourth, fifth and sixth we will find the common reason. Minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 and half to 1 and for all of these we will use the open bracket. Hence we can write here alpha belongs to. So from number line you can write alpha belongs to minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 open interval half to 1. Hence now we'll see the question. In the question the option is minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 union half to 1 open interval is given in the first option. So your option number first is the correct option. So option number first is the answer.